there are some people, um, journalists, normal people, people communicating on the internet. I will call them and I'll take the responsibility for doing that. A little bit narrow-minded because some of them would say that the states, the world should be afraid of a deep black America. What do you think about that? I think that um, that's kind of crazy because America is no more all black than it is all white or is it all, all red. America is a melting pot. America, America is African American, Italian American, Chinese American, Swiss Americans, right. Romanian Americans. Right. I mean, America is America is a wonderful place because it is one of the it is maybe the only country that has had the opportunity to incorporate all of the peoples of the world, and. If we can come together in America, all of these different peoples, and function as a unit, as a united people, we will have proved something that would be a glorious reality for all of the world. Because we do not have to be at odds with each other. We do not have to face each other with contention. Our differences are what is wonderful about us, and our differences should be shared, and not something to be afraid, afraid, afraid of, but something to, to be celebrated. Some, because what is different about you brings something to me that I would not have known, and the same to you. And this is what the world is supposed to be about. We are supposed to function together harmoniously. This is, which is one of the reasons that I love music so much. It is the sound of the harmony of life. And this is what we need. It is no, it's no more time for this country or this race against that. No, that will, that will be the end of us all, okay? Our mother, the earth, is suffering because her children are at constant war with each other. Enough. Enough. Okay, wonderful image. So this could be your, not only yours, mine, ours, future world. But how do you perceive your actual America right now? How do you see your America in this very moment? Right now, our Amer my America, excuse me, that was like um, a slip of the tongue, but our America, because all of our countries belong to each other. Right. Whether we accept it or realize it or not, we all belong to each other. We are all part of this human race. And this America that we speak of is at a crossroads, as is every country in the world at a crossroads, because right now our, the ecology of the planet is suffering. Mm -hmm which means that the future generations will or will not survive because of what we do now, not only in America, but here in Romania and in China and Japan and Russia and every place else. We must either realize the importance of achieving unity and single purpose, and that is life itself and to continue life and to just, as my mama used to say, enjoy breathing, <laughs> you know? And right now, America is at a place where it is going to either succeed or fail. And I believe, I'm an optimist, I believe that people really do desire the best of themselves and not the worst, okay? Because if all we want is, I want this for me and that for me, and there's nothing left for you, then what is left to you to do? To fight me for it because you must survive. This is not the way that life should be. Obviously. So we, I am hoping and believing 
more than I have for many years, that there is the possibility to aspire to the greatness that humankind has in its heart and soul. And I think that, <laughs> I, I can't, you know, this man Obama has inspired me to believe in the possibility of a new political reality where politics is not something that uses the people but is of use to the people. And I just hope that that spirit can enter the White House and spread through the populace and from our hearts across the oceans. We must work together, we must live together, or we will die together. Blue, what if Obama will not be the president of the United States? Then I think that the spirit that he's kindled in the, in, the, in the American electorate will not die because he doesn't. I think that people have understood that they can bring about change by uniting and going forward to do something about it because this has not, this, this possibility was undreamed of. I'll tell you, this possibility was undreamed of six months before he started running for president. Fully right. Okay, yep, yep. so yeah. I think that uh, he has brought about a change in America that is not going to stop because he gets in the White House or doesn't, okay? But I will say to you this, I believe that he's going to make it, and I hope that he makes it. And if he doesn't, that's all right with me too because he'll still be there, and the spirit that he has ignited in my heart will still be there. Okay, um, Lou, thank you so much for accepting our invitation. It's been an honor and a privilege to have you here. Thank you for accepting to play with my colleagues, with my fellow musicians. Oh, my great pleasure. My great and, pleasure. Uh, oh, let me tell you yep, something please. about uh, My guys weren't here, but uh, I've got a wonderful group of guys. In your band. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ilaria, uh, Ilaria Lantieri, the bass player, um, uh, Turbo Murray and uh, Rico McFarland and Anthony Space, and we're gonna be swinging hard for you at Spice Club, so you guys come on down, and, and I promise you that you will not regret it. And I would like to say thank you. Thank and you, thank and you. good luck with your tour. Governor, to Governor, Sugar Blue. <laughs>